All right, so the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to, uh, for the billiards animation, we're going to create a new document. So I'm going to hit create, new. And I just want to make sure I have standard this time. It keeps my um, file size low, as you should have done for the other ones. 640 by 480. And my frame rate is at 30 frame rate. And, uh, and remember, it can always be from 24 to 30. So that is fine. I'm going to click create. All right, so I have my open scene. Again, we have our tools on our left side. Um, our property is on our right, um, our library is on our right, a line is on our right, and color is on our right. We also have our color panel down here at the bottom that you can click on. We have our foreground, our fill color and our stroke color, which is just essentially a border. And here at the bottom, we have our timeline, we have our play, um, our play functions, and we have our layers right here. All right, so that is our, our um, set up. I'm going to go to window this time. Actually, I'm going to go to view and I'm going to go to rulers. I'm going to click on my rulers. So I have these rulers right here. And the only reason I did that is because in this exercise, I'm going to use a guide. I know it's not in the actual transcripts, but um, it can be somewhat useful. So for this, we're making a pool table. So billiards. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose a color. I'm going to turn off my stroke because I don't want my balls to have stroke. And then I'm going to make a cue ball. So I choose white. Um, well, actually, for this, I'm going to leave the stroke on for the white ball, and then I'll turn it off later so that I can see it. So I'm going to draw a ball on my screen. Um, I'm going to hold down shift as I do it so that it becomes a perfect circle. And then I'm going to let go. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select that uh, using my black arrow, and I'm going to drag a box around it. I'm going to hold down my option command or my alt command on a uh, PC and I'm going to drag out one ball right here and hold down my option again and then drag out another ball right there. So I have two and then I'm just going to align these up with the other one so they look about even. All right. So now what I want to do is I want to change the color of these balls. So I'm going to select the first one. I'm going to come over here, turn off the stroke, and then I'm going to change the color to a color for a pool ball, maybe this nice blue. And then I'm going to select this one right here, turn off the stroke, because the stroke is already off on that one, I guess. And let's select, um, let's select a brownish color. And, and then uh, for my cue ball, I'm gonna, for now, I'm going to leave it on. Oh, actually, I'll turn it off. So we're going to select this, make sure our stroke is none, and our color is white. And I'm going to select these over here, make sure the stroke is none. All right, so as you can see, my white ball disappeared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here to layer one. I'm going to title it uh, table, hit enter. And now I'm going to double click on that layer. So that selects everything on my screen. Because just in case you're having a hard time finding your cue ball, uh, you can now see it. So now I'm going to come over here to my cue ball, right click, and say distribute to layers. All right. So I'm going to just drag this up a little bit so I have more room. So once I distribute it to layers, I have table two, three, four. So remember the first layer that you distribute from becomes an empty layer. So I'm just going to drag that all the way to the bottom. All right. And then I'm going to come over here, go to my rectangle tool, choose a green color for my table. And I'm going to drag out a green color across my table so that it looks like a pool table. All right. So now I can see my white ball, my blue ball, and my brown ball. All right. Um, so I'm going to go to layer two and I'm going to just label these. So this is my white ball. I'm turning on and off the uh, visibility. So I'm going to say cue ball. So click OK. This one is my brown one. So brown. And this one is my blue. So now that I have all my, my layers labeled, it's a little bit easier to see. So next thing I want to do is I'm going to go over to my rulers. I'm going to click actually on my ruler and I'm dragging out a guide right to the edge of my 
um, two, um, two, two shapes on my screen. So I have, I, and if you look really closely, I overlapped it a little bit. This is just to kind of know where everything starts. Um, it doesn't, you don't need to do it, but it's, it makes it a little bit help, uh, easier, helpful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my one second mark for my cue ball. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say insert frame. All right. So, and I'm going to come down to my green, my table. So right click, insert frame. And I'm going to go to my brown, right click, insert frame. And blue, right click, insert frame. All right. So going back to my cue ball, I'm going to lock the other ones so that I don't mess those up. And using my cue ball, I'm going to line my playhead right up to that um, one second mark. And I'm going to, oops. And I'm going to right click on my screen and say create motion tween. So remember when we create a motion tween, it shows up in our library. So I have a white ball in the library. You can't really see it because it's obviously is white on white, but that's fine. I know it's there. Um, so I'm going to come drag my playhead back to that one second mark. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab using my, my selection tool. So you can hit your V key to get your selection tool. And I'm just going to drag this ball all the way up to where it hits the other balls. So right there. All right, so if I drag my playhead back, you can see that it works. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my three second mark and I'm gonna insert a frame. All right, and what I wanna do with this frame is I'm gonna make this ball recoil or, or retract. So I'm gonna grab it on the corner, on the side, not on the corner, but I'm gonna grab it on the side. I'm just gonna drag it somewhere else. So let's make it bounce away like that, All right? So if I want my colors to, my table to extend, I just grab that table, uh, the little hash mark, and I just drag it all the way to where the cue ball is. So now I can see what happens. So it should hit here pretty fast and then slowly recoil, right? The reason why it's going slower is because it, I have it recoiling for two seconds. So one to two and then two to three versus the other one, which is zero to one, which is a lot faster, right? So now I got to make my other, um, my other billiards move as well. So now I'm going to get these other frames to move. So, so when the ball hits them, the other billiards will move away. So first thing I need to do is unlock all my layers except for my table layer. And I'm going to right click, say create motion tween. So that's the brown one and right click on this one, create motion tween. And that's the blue one. All right. So remember, so it's not going to be right right when the ball hits it is at one second. So the next frame right here, I'm going to start moving it. Click on this. And I'm going to say right click, insert keyframe position, and then insert keyframe position. That's just to have it so that I have a, a starting point for these. And on the next frame right here, I'm going to go to two seconds. And I'm going to say insert frame. And I can do the same for two seconds right here, insert frame. And what I'm going to start doing is I'm going to move these. So I'm going to go halfway between 45 and 50. And I'm going to drag this ball. So I grab it at the middle and I'm just going to bank it against this back wall right here. And I'm going to do the same for the other one. Bank it against the wall right there. And then I'm going to bounce it again. So I'm going to grab it on the side, drag it down here. So it bounces against this wall. And do the same for this one. Drag it. Bounce. And I don't want it to intersect with my other one. So I have to make sure that once I get to my three second mark, um, so I'm going to go 80. So I'm slowly, I'm slowly increasing the gap between here. So I'm gonna say insert frame, insert frame. So at this point, I wanna make sure that it's not gonna bump into my other one. So I'm gonna 
bounce it from here Oop, grabbing it on the edge again all right and I'm gonna do the same for my brown ball so this is gonna bounce and this one we're gonna drag this one up right there and then for my three second mark we're just gonna extend that so insert frame and insert frame one more time and let's just extend this path so it's a little bit further or you can just grab this point right here I'm just gonna drag that to the end alright so so if I play my animation oh I intersect there so I need to speed my cue ball away a little bit quicker because my blue ball is going too fast so let's see here blue ball let's see here so mm -hmm. so it looks like right here I have to make the white ball move another direction so find my cue ball So let's see if that fixed it. All right, so kind of fixed it. Um, so now my my billiards looks a little bit more realistic. So that looks pretty good. All right, so that is the animation. So now we're gonna go to file, export, and we're export as an animated GIF. And that's it. So we make sure transparency is off. And we click save, and you can have a loop if you want. Loop once, or you can have a loop forever. And click save. And I'm gonna title this billiards. And that's my design. All right, so I hope that was helpful.